guys, we're back at the farm. So this is actually part two of probably a multi-point, multi-part video, I should say. Uh, we did not leave from the farm, as you guys know. Um, we finally made it back. We're gonna do a stud check. Um, we're gonna do a bearing check, make a pit stop. We're on, uh, we're on a 50 to 60 mile move journey here. Yeah, I would take my shoes off. Basically what we're looking for is, uh, as you guys know, if you watched the previous video, it was really hard on our studs. I'm not worried about this. We were moving so slow. We're only moving about 11 mile an hour. I don't suspect there to be any issues. Tires are warm, but that's it. Remember, we are taking our portable shop with us. We do have multiple tires, hubs, the whole nine yards. We want to check these pins that Borgo says aren't going to ever break on us again. We are fully loaded. That is never a good thing to do. You should never move loaded. So these are the studs. You want to check all these studs. Especially these big, big guys back here. They had a rough go. We did grease everything before, prior to the move. Mike, why are you loaded then? Uh, it's just how it happened to work out, unfortunately. We didn't we didn't think that we were gonna be moving. Um, I would recommend watching part one of this video if you wanna understand that. Yeah, everything looks fine. You wanna check these studs too. Tires are warm, that's to be expected. There's a lot of weight they're carrying. Yeah, okay. Everything looks good. The vent had a really rough go because it's even wider than our big carts are with these triples. That's the reason why we keep these triples pretty much at like two pounds pressure, hardly any. I'm not worried about these breaking. Oh, they ain't gonna break, no. Heck, I'm not even worried about this band breaking. I'm not even worried about the third band breaking. I'm worried about the main ones in there. And they're all there. It's a good sign. Checking for studs. If anything is going to rupture or break, it's going to be these guys right here. They're carrying the most weight. I'm not worried about the axle bar. The axle bar will be fine. So, do we have the most air in this tire? Followed by the least amount of air, sorry, lesser air, and then the least amount of air. Say what? All right, things look good, so we're gonna head out. We don't wanna be wasting time, we got a long move. Um, as you guys know, last time we made this move last year, we did have a bearing go. Um, it was not fun. Happened at night. Let's get rocking. There is three of us going, myself, Brian, and Ashton. That's our portable shop. And then the other white vehicle is gonna be our pilot in front. The shop's gonna trail. Um, we'll let us know if anyone comes up behind us. And then the uh, pilot in front will have people pull over for us, is the goal. Oh yeah, I should note that this is still the 22nd, of, I think it's the 22nd, it's still the same day of April. Let's go guys. So we just got to a highway. Uh, we've been on the road for a while. We need to do a walk. -off.
tires are warm, it's to be expected. Bearings are all cold, studs look good. Check our fancy Borgo pins, that looks fine. Check our studs, yep. Remember we are loaded. I hate moving loaded. Hey Rickles. Rickles checking everything on this side, all looks good. good. Studs are there. All right, that's what I like to hear. Ooh, sorry about that, did not mean to do that. Everything looks good. Don't smell anything. <laughs> All right, we're ready to hit the road again. Okay, Mike, are you ever worried about your uh, rubber wheels back here, buddy? Uh, getting hot, going down the road for long periods of time? Absolutely not. If they can't build them tough enough for, uh, to make a bit of a small move, then no sense of selling them. Crossing the highway. And we're gonna keep on chugging. Alright, let's gear this puppy up. Did I ever tell you that John Deere's uh, shift terribly? Oh, they do. They most definitely Well, Mike, you can adjust that in the transmission. It doesn't matter. They still shift terribly. <laughs> Four more hours to go. We're going to be there. We actually got up to 14 miles an hour here on some good stretches. So we range between 11 and 14. Loaded. How fast do we go empty? Great question. Uh, not over 15, so that's that's about our speed. I'd rather go slow and steady and wins the race versus too fast and, I don't know, heat up my bearings and break an axle off or, yeah, you guys get the idea. Always worries me when I see a sign that says caution. Oh goodness, what are we getting ourselves into? Looks like this has been kind of freshly graded. Maybe a bit of a new build. I see some little reflective tapes up here. Looks like maybe a low level crossing there of some sort. I gotta slow down here. Called it over the radio so that way they know I'm slowing down. Shift up. Shift up again. All right. So as we're driving here, I just wanted to point out how wide this road is. Um, it's a lot wider than some of the last roads we just came off of. And uh, the reasoning for that would be different RMs. So an RM, um, which is a rural municipality around here, uh, in Saskatchewan. I think there's like 296 or something like that, give or take, uh, RMs in the province of Saskatchewan. And basically that's just your local government, uh, basically your RM. They, they grade the roads, um, they put culverts in, um, we pay land taxes to the RM. Basically they have graded roads, so on and so forth. So every RM is a little bit different and each RM typically uh, has a council and a reeve. And uh, they kind of make up the rules for their RM. They can set road bands if they should so choose to, um, um, and other and other things. But anyways, where I'm going with this is because this RM that we're in, um, they like to have wide roads, and I thank you for that. You guys are freaking awesome. I won't name the RM. Uh, the RM that we left in in the first video had super narrow roads and uh, it was really hard on our axles and spindles and stud bolts and so on and so forth. So thank you guys for having wide roads. About that time when you can, our pilot vehicle didn't say anything over the radio that I noticed, but I see something coming up there. Looks like a tractor. He's coming this way. I'm trying to hold this phone absolutely as steady as I possibly can here for you guys. 
we'll see when we get up there. Oh, it's pulling off. Thank you, good sir. Thank you. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Look at this guy, he's awesome. Just burning down the field. Hey, don't, know, yeah. don't know if that's his field or not, but I feel like it died. He's awesome. Pulling a double disc. Yeah, it looks that way. Awesome. Poor track. Uh, the poor track you heard is actually a track to way out over there. I don't know if you can see it. He said that it was just sitting out there. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. No blue versatile. Sorry about that. Whoa! Almost made you guys sick there. And that tractor, anyway, that blue versatile is just kind of sitting out there by itself. I feel like it's a little lonely. <laughs> So it's been about three hours now since we've left the field and uh, I would say we're about halfway there. Woohoo! Oh, we finally got somebody else here. This is only the second person that we've met. Thank you for pulling off the side of the road, good sir. Really appreciate that. actually been told that a drill caught up to us behind us. They must have been going ramming speed. It must be empty. They're also heading west. We're heading farther west though. Well, found a neighbor. Just started seeding, I'm guessing. Or maybe they're not just starting. Maybe they're half done for all I know. I don't know. Can't assume, I guess. I don't know who our neighbor is because uh, I don't know many people out where we are headed. They're friendly. They waved. That's the rig they're running. Looks like a case quad track with a CNH drill. Cool. Man, I love the look of dirt being stirred up. <laughs> okay, I guess now we'll continue on our move. Finally, we're getting to our first corner where we can actually turn and go a different direction here for a little while. I shift down. somebody coming anyway guys I'm gonna let you go you guys have yourself a good one this video is already about as long as I want it to be I will catch you for part three I know right just the longest move ever three days of moving like what the heck Mike I don't know just just pumping out videos that's all just trying to log and document everything I'm doing